Hello, I am Dr. Bharat Bhosle. I am a medical oncologist, cancer specialist and bone marrow transplant physician at Rahija Hospital, Mumbai. So today we are going to talk uh, a little bit about uh, latest advances in cancer management. And one of the most important thing which has happened in the last decade is immunotherapy. So traditionally, uh, cancer, most of the solid tumor, we used to treat with surgeries, sometime radiation, and majority of the cases, surgery used to be followed by chemotherapy. When the cancer used to be in the advanced stages, then we talk about palliative treatment. In palliation, the most important treatment is chemotherapy. So those traditional chemotherapy is associated with a lot of toxicities, but there are medicines to, con to control these toxicities. With the availability of latest therapies, so-called as targeted therapy and immunotherapy, which is seen in the last two decades and which has revolutionized, changed completely the management of lung cancer, some, uh, some of the skin cancers, kidney cancers and many cancers. So with little bit of toxicity, you get the best outcome in various tumors, including all these tumors which I mentioned and many more tumors. Now, what is immunotherapy? Many patients know us because recently there has been an article that there is a 100% cure with immunotherapy drugs. So based on some patients, that is not more than 20 patients, yes, there is in a, a rectal cancer. In some patients who had a biomarker called as MSI high, in those patients, if you use immunotherapy, ideally those patients need surgery and radiation therapy. But in this particular subset of patients with the immunotherapy, all the patients uh, got complete cure, though it is a very early data, these patients did not require surgery and radiation therapy or chemotherapy. Now taking these points, I am going to talk about what is immunotherapy. Everybody has immune system which fights against the bacteria and viruses and similar way they fight that immune system has the ability to fight against cancer. But the cancer cells are very smart. They try and put a break on these immune cells of the body, of the host or the patients. By giving immunotherapy, what we try to do, we try to take away the break and accelerate the body's immune system. And this activated immune system go and act against the tumor cells and control the tumors. So the basic difference between a chemotherapy and immunotherapy is that when a tumor is controlled by chemotherapy, as long as chemotherapy is being given, the tumor is controlled. The moment you stop chemotherapy, the tumor cells starts coming back. Those are the resistant tumor cells. Now, beyond few cycles, you can't continue chemotherapy because chemotherapy has its own side effects on various organs of the body. Immunotherapy, against to the, as against to the chemotherapy, has the ability to enhance the immune system of the body with lesser side effects. And this activated immune system, in a natural way like that controls the bacteria and viruses, has the ability to control the tumor cells. And those patients, not all patients, those patients who respond to the immunotherapy, their responses last long. And we have now patients in early clinical trials treated 10 years back, their tumors are completely under control. So not all, but a subset of patients showed an excellent response. Even in advanced stage of cancer, which we used to label as not curable, are now in the stage of cure, in the advanced stage. So this is like lung cancer, where the tumor is in stage four, they are treated with immunotherapy and the disease is, or lung cancer is in complete remission. There is no evidence of tumor. Many patients we have coming to the follow up beyond five years, their tumors are under control. But we need to have uh, no, we need to have to identify this subset of patients and for that if we give this immunotherapy to 100 patients not all the patients are going to respond but a subset of patients who are showing a biomarker called as the predictive biomarkers these are the uh, receptors which can be tested in the labs these are these are done these are called as a pdl1 receptors pdl1 which is done by immunohistochemistry MSI, these are also done by immunohistochemistry and advanced tests. So we have to identify these patients because these treatments are very, very costly. 
so we can't we cannot treat all the patients so if we identify those patients who are going to get benefit out of this then our cost effectiveness increases so this is important for advanced stages of the cancer now after treating this advanced stages of the cancer this treatment is coming into the adjuvant treatment where stage 1 to 3 uh, uh, lung cancer patient renal cancer patients uh, melanoma patients are getting treated with the surgery and after that to prevent the recurrence of the cancer previously we used to treat these patients with the radiation and chemotherapy now there are clinical trials which are suggesting that immunotherapy if we put after or if we put the patient after surgery there also it is showing benefit after that we are coming to early stages where chemotherapy is given and after that surgery is done in that subset the early trials in lung cancer in other cancer it is showing that if you use immunotherapy alone or along with the chemotherapy it is showing significant reduction in the tumor size so the surgery also becoming easier for the surgeons and it is also showing a survival benefit so now the future is all about combining the traditional chemotherapy radiotherapy immunotherapy and targeted therapy along with the basic uh, uh, surgery and this way we are trying to improve and actually i can say the outcome the survival is definitely improved in last 5 to 10 years and the future is bright for cancer patients thank you